Hello everyone and welcome to Rev's Toy Reviews. I'm the Rev and I'm bringing to you today a review of one of the most sought after collectibles of the year. This is the Bandai Toys R Us exclusive 20th anniversary Power Rangers Legacy Power Morpher. I sought long and hard for this one. I got this one before the uh, Toys R Us pre-sale. Someone on Ranger Board graciously helped me obtain this. This is amazing. You look at the box here, uh, there's a picture of the 20th anniversary red armored Ranger. The back is really nice artwork of the coins, the morpher and everything in the story. On the side is just this. In the front we see the morpher uh, in its packaging, the 20th anniversary logo. It does say on the box age 15 plus so this is a collectible it is made of die cast metal it's absolutely incredible so uh, let's just open this thing up and take a look at the goodies that are inside here we have the legacy morpher and the power coins out of the packaging we're gonna look at the coins first just because uh, you can't really see them that well but we have the, ma the mastodon coin and the pterodactyl coin now these these are solid metal. Fans might get mad at me for clinking them together, but I don't think they'll damage easily. They look incredible. Same thing with the Triceratops and the Sabertooth Tiger coins. And the Tyrannosaurus coin. All the coins look absolutely amazing. Coming to the crown jewel of this review, we of course have the Legacy Morpher itself. This is beautiful. Before we look at everything in detail, I just want you to take a look at all this. This is molded, painted plastic. This was not on the original Morpher. I do not have the original to do a comparison. However, I do have a prop replica that I bought off Ranger Board and painted up myself of the uh, Dragon Buckler. But you can see the back was, it looked just like this in the original. It looked just like this. Now this one doesn't have a handle or anything like that, but I'm going to use this as a size comparison only for this review. So I'll put that right there. But this is gorgeous. This is the only sticker on it. This part and this part, and they're not peeling on mine, which is good. Before we get to the more for itself, just put that right there. We have the belt holster with this. This was never released in America with the original Morpher. It has clips on it, and they're strong clips. They're very strong belt clips. I've tried putting this on my pants. Uh, you need the right kind of belt to make it work. I can make it work just on, uh, on my regular pants uh, waistline. But this is incredible. Now here's the, uh, the prop holster that I have that came with my Dragon Buckler. And you see, it's nice. It is nice, but it's not this. It's not this. And the Morpher fits in, as you saw, this way and you hear that snap it's not going to fall out easily and to get it out the easy way fold down the handle and pull it out just like they would on the show and it goes in this way very nicely this is incredible we're going to put the holster off to the side and just for a size comparison i'm going to bring back my prop morpher you can see there is a size difference there is a significant size difference. And as well on this, this is painted detail. This is not sticker. This is incredible. Now, to use the Morpher, the original Morpher coins, you put in side out and you twist it. I'm going to use Triceratops just because it's the first one I reached for. For this, you just pop them in, and to get them out, you see the Jew Ranger symbol on the back. You just press on that, and the coin drops out. So, really a neat feature. So, we'll put the Triceratops coin in, and to turn on the features, you fold down the handle and hit this switch right here, it says on and off, and you get that sound. And to activate it, of course, you push the button, and that's the sound you get. And the longer you hold it, the more you get, but the cool part about this one, this might take a moment.
how awesome is that? You have to hold it on the button though. It's the only downfall. This is the only button. This one is just for show. The handle, there's a nice bit of space under the handle. Just to show you how much, I can get my hand there very, very comfortably. The only thing is my thumb doesn't really get to the button easily, but it will. And I mean, this is incredible. I never owned the original Power Morpher. Never did. So when I heard this was coming out, I just had to have it. And I searched my local Toys R Us, but its stock in Power Rangers merchandise was always bad. I didn't know what the release time was for it. I saw them popping up on Ranger Board. I tried to jump at them, jump at them, jump at them. And a user, uh, I can't remember what the user's name was. I do have his actual name somewhere in the box in amongst the paperwork. But he said he'd pick it up for me if I just send him uh, cost plus shipping. And I said, yeah, if you're able to do it. So that's how I got my hands on this guy and the coins. No desire to get the Legacy Megazord. I have a black and gold Megazord and I have a 1993 colored Megazord that I keep in my Ultra Zord. So I don't really have any need for that. Uh, some of the other 20th anniversary stuff, we'll wait and see when it comes out. But this is incredible. And I mean, it looks great next to my uh, my prop Dragon Buckler or uh, Green Ranger Morph or however you want to call it. But I hope you enjoyed this review. This has been The Rev, and I'll be back again with another great Power Rangers review at some point. Have a great one, everybody.